All right, guys, we got five mystery boxes to unbox today. These ones are from that Spider-Man booth. This is their 2.0 version. Stay tuned. Comically correct comics. So I just got turned on to uh, mystery boxes uh, recently from you know Instagram and things like that. And um, I just did uh, an unboxing of five mystery boxes from Boxed Heroes. I'll put a link to that up here somewhere if you want to go check that video out. But this one, these are from That Spider-Man booth. This is their 2.0 version box. Um, and it's very similar to the Box Heroes one. It's 30 bucks. Um, it comes with five comics. And uh, you get a chance at their giveaway prize. Um, and their giveaway prize resets every week. So they must be selling a lot of boxes because their giveaway prizes are pretty generous. Like right now it's a CGC 9.2 Ultimate Fallout 4, the 1 in 25 Djurjevic cover. That's this week's giveaway prize, a 9.2, which is worth at least a couple grand. Um, so I think the way it works is you get five comics and you get a chance at the giveaway prize. Okay, so that's a little different than the Box Heroes, which you get... Um, about five or six comics. Uh, those actually had like seven comics in it. Um, and uh, you get a chance at like, there's like six or seven giveaway prizes. Um, so, and, but with this one, um, so this one seems like it's a little bit more of like one big grand prize, whereas the other one had a bunch of uh, smaller hits, but you're more likely to hit them. Um, but we'll see if any of these books, even if you don't hit that giveaway prize, are, are like of increased value. We'll, we'll see. Um, I obviously did not get the Djurjevic uh, comic here because these are all smaller boxes. Um, but one thing that they also offer is uh, you get a chance at additional giveaway prizes. Every Monday, they do Insta Mondays at 5 o'clock on Instagram and they go live and your order number is your ticket number and they randomly draw um, some winners. So you get an extra entry there. So let's just jump right in and see what we got. So first off, it's a super sick box. This is their 2.0, it says Run Los Angeles. I think it's a sick box. Okay, so first off, um, we've got, um, the books in here, I, I would have liked to have seen um, like a little piece of bubble wrap or something because they're just kind of, they're kind of loose in there and they are uh, somewhat protected, but I, it would have been nice to see like a piece of bubble wrap. So first off, we have X Factor Twenty Three Endangered Species. Then we have X-Men number 10, Variant Edition. And this has a little sticker on it, it says $10. So they're saying this one is probably one of the more increased values in this particular box. And then here we have Green Lantern number one, part of the Rebirth. Then we have the Immortal Hulk number 19 and it says $15 on this one and look at that Dark Knight's Death Metal number one and it's got a $30 sticker on it this must just be one of the uh, the variant covers it's got Wonder Woman and um, the Batman Who Laughs This is actually a super sick cover. So between this, so 30, 45, 55, $55 right there, according to them, plus two extra books. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look these up real quick and just see, see what they really are going for on eBay. All right, so a little caveat on this, and I gotta give, um, I gotta give them credit where it's due. So. They're saying that the box is a retail value of $30, okay? More, uh, more than a retail value of $30. 
there's a difference between recent eBay sales and retail value. Okay, so they're not claiming uh, recent eBay sales. They're claiming retail value, right? So um, w you got to look at it like that. And then looking it up, this one here, actually, Dark Knight's Death Metal 1, this is the Nagu variant. Uh, actually, a copy just sold on eBay for $36. So um, their retail value is a little low on that one. So $36 there. This one that says $10, I had a hard time even finding. It's probably an exclusive cover, but um, I'm sure that's the retail value. And $15 on the Immortal Hulk. They're listed on eBay for $8, and you can get 15% off if you order more. So, um, But the retail value, sure, $15, I can see that. So definitely, definitely, definitely more than $30 in that box. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy with that just for that Death Metal 1 cover. All right, so the next one, same thing. Could use a little bit of bubble wrap, but it's all good. They look like they are um, safe enough. So first we have Sinestro number 12. And then we have Hellions number 3 variant edition. That must be an exclusive cover. And then we've got Retcon issue 4. This is an image. That looks super interesting. I, I'm actually curious to read that one. I'm more into indie books right now for some reason. Like, the stories are just more exciting. And then we have X-Men number 7, uh, variant edition. This is the Chicago Expo C2E2 variant cover. Um, it says $15. And it is not in great shape. It has some serious spine stress. But um, it's a cool cover. It looks like the homage to um, that really popular X-Men title. And then the last one here is um, a Power Rangers book with a $40 sticker on it. It's a virgin edition of the Power Rangers. And I'm... I'm totally confused about Power Rangers. Like, why are they in the same box as X-Men and stuff? Like, I, th I thought Power Rangers was like a children's series. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read it. I'm going to read that book because maybe something happened that I missed where Power Rangers is like in the same league as X-Men and, and uh, Hellions and stuff like that. But I, I thought it was just for children. And... But... We shall see. So I'm sure that was a cool exclusive uh, variant cover. All right, box number three. And it looks like these ones all indeed have five books. Um, so here we have Wonder Man, Marvel Limited Series, Five of Five, World War Hulk, um, Wonder Man, Never seen that one before. Then we have Batman number 50. It says $15. It looks like a... Um, interesting, the bag is totally ripped open on this. It says $15, but you can see that the bag is totally ripped open. So that's sliding out. But uh, probably a, a, a sick variant cover there. Extreme X-Men number 41. Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy number 1. And this one looks crispy. That one looks really, really cool. I actually really like that book there. And this one says $30. Uh, it's a virgin cover, and I'm sure it's just a you know a, a recent exclusive cover. So in this one, forty-five dollars in value plus three other books. So definitely the value there. So 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 far, um, they've definitely 
are definitely more than $30 of value. All right, next box. Royal City number seven. It's got a cool cover. It's an image book and it looks like a, a hip hop variant, but I've never seen this title before. Then we have Giant Size X-Men, Jean Grey, and Emma Frost, number one, with a $15 sticker. Avengers, number eight, Earth's Mightiest Heroes. The Batman Who Laughs, number two. Uh, Batman Who Laughs number two. It's got a $20 sticker on it. It's probably a, an exclusive variant cover. Oh, sweet. And this is the, uh, this is Thor. Um, the Thor design variant. I, I'll have to figure out which, which copy this is and I'll, I'll put it up here. It's from the new Thor series and this is like a, a third print or something. I'll put it up here. Um, but this is a dope book. I'm actually, uh, I, I like this one. So, so this has $55 in, in stickered, in stickered books. All right. This next one we have Harley Quinn 75. I recognize this book because I got a whole bunch of these already, but this one they're putting at 15 bucks. And next we have a $25 one, which is a variant cover of some type. I'm not gonna bother looking that up, but it says 25 bucks. So there we're at 40 already. Um, Royals number one. New Mutants, number two. This is a really cool cover. It's got a $15 sticker. And Tales of the Witchblade, number two. Right there. And that's it. So, Overall, what I would say with the street level hero boxes, obviously I didn't hit a grand prize or anything. Um, and you're definitely going to get modern books. So um, if you're more into modern books, go with the street level hero. The boxed hero one had very few modern books and mostly uh, bronze books and even a couple silver. Um, and make sure you're into variant covers because that's that's kind of where they're at which i am actually into i'm a fan of modern variant covers so so i do i do like this box um the one thing that sets it apart um is the packaging is not as good the the bags and boards are cheap and um with the box heroes they had super high quality bag and boards which makes a big difference it makes a big difference for shipping it makes a big difference for maintaining the quality of the books a lot of these books i probably wouldn't send to cgc's a lot of them i would but it seems like a lot of them um wouldn't make the 9.8 cut um so i don't know what the deal is with that um maybe maybe the the cheap bag and boards and having them bounce around in these boxes are, are hitting those corners a little because it seems like there's a lot of spine stress and and corner stuff ticks so uh but overall for 30 bucks um it's a decent box. I think it's a decent box. Um, and it's worth the, it's for 30 bucks, it's worth the shot at the grand prize, you know? And so another thing to mention about these boxes is they are free shipping. Um, so that's significant. It's free shipping if you order two or more boxes. Um, and of all these, these are all the, the um, so I spent 150 bucks. And of all of these, 
uh, comics that were in there with stickers on them, it adds up to $290. So, um, yeah, they say over $30 in value, and they're talking about retail value. And these, the sticker price on these alone was $290. Plus, I got all of these extra books here. So for 150 bucks, I got all that. Um, 290 plus a bunch of these books. And so there are definitely some books in here that uh, I'm gonna keep um, or possibly get graded. Dark Knight's Death Metal number one. That was a keeper. Uh, Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy number one. I think that's a dope cover. I love white background covers. Um, this Thor uh, design variant. Batman Who Laughs, number two. That one's pretty cool too. So those ones uh, I am happy with and I would keep. I would order, I would do this again. I would order it again. I say I would get five more boxes and hope to hit next time. Um, so anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching another video. Please smash the subscribe button. Leave a like on your way out. Um, and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye. Comically correct comment.